Okay, so now I'm going to start into more of the tech details of how you can basically set up the work profile and then set up the app configuration and app protection policies. So I'll start with the high level overview of what app configuration policy is. So basically under app configuration policy, you can configure the apps on how they should work like. So let's say uh, you ship out a phone to the end user. So under app configuration policy, uh, I'll be using the example of Outlook throughout this webinar. So under this, you can configure the Outlook app itself. So as you all might be aware that uh, Outlook has uh, two tabs at the top called Focus, Inbox and others. You can basically configure that policy that uh, is there a need for the end users to have two separate tabs or they can have just one tab or if your organization is using some external third party signature management systems, you can then block the, uh, the default uh, signature that Outlook has, which says get Outlook for Android. So that's pretty handy as well. And these app configuration policies are basically uh, compatible with all Microsoft applications. Hmm? Um, Jesse's asking, in regard to the Android enterprise enrollment, is there a set of a set standard Android device that is most favored by Google? Uh, if you actually go onto the Google uh, Android Enterprise website, which uh, Hidden can send you the link of, they have actually a list of recommended Android devices that are most compatible with Android Enterprise and with which you can make the most use out of the Android Enterprise environment. And basically all the uh, latest Samsung devices or obviously the Google Pixel and the Google devices are mostly highly compatible with Android Enterprise environment. So before starting this, you need to make sure that you have actually enabled the Android enrollment in there. So to do that, you go under Intune uh, device enrollment, Android enrollment. So given this is our test environment, I have already configured it. But let's say if you are starting from scratch, uh, you will see all these options of Android enterprise will be disabled. So basically, you will need to launch the managed Google Play account over here accept all the terms and conditions and click on launch Google to connect now. Google basically recommends that you should use a enterprise account in here. The reason for that being is if you are using your own personal work account and let's say the admin leaves the organization, then sometimes it can get difficult to do some uh, settings inside the Android enterprise environment. Uh, once you set up this uh, account in, and, uh, uh, in the Manage Google Play Store, you will see the status it says uh, it's set up and with the green tick and some other details of when it was set up. The next thing you should be doing is uh, go under enrollment restrictions and click under device type restrictions and properties. So here, once that manage Google Play account is set up, you will uh, actually see that Android enterprise work profile shows up. And by default, it will be set to as block. So I would recommend it to be set as allow. And recently, uh, Intune also added a feature of device manufacturer. So basically, it means that you can type in the name of the manufacturer that you want to block. So let's say if you type in Samsung here and hit review and save. So uh, any user who is having a Samsung device won't be able to enroll Android Enterprise work profile. So it allows a bit of more granular control over your uh, devices and end users. But then again, it's more of an organizational decision if you really want to implement this kind of policy in here. So if it's nothing in there, then all kind of manufacturers are allowed and you can set up the Android Enterprise work profile. You hit review and save and that's it. So your Android Enterprise environment is set up. Uh, moving on to the app configuration policy. So uh, you go into Intune, Client Apps, and under App Configuration Policy, you will be able to set it up. So once you click Add, you will see two options come up. One is uh, Managed Devices, and the other is Managed Apps. So what does Managed Devices mean is that if you are, let's say, uh, enrolling the devices as Android Enterprise corporate-owned devices, so you can configure the policy for that. But let's say if your environment has a hybrid type of solution in which uh, there is a uh, device administrators and BYOD policy, then uh, it is recommended that you use managed apps in there. And then once you go in there, you can uh, set up the policy. For this webinar, I have already pre-made policy for Outlook and it's for managed apps. <clears throat> I'll quickly give a run through on what has been set up. So under the basics, you set up the basic information and select managed apps. 
and you can even select more apps that you want to configure the policy for. So for this demo, it's going to be Outlook, but you can always come in here and select the apps that are available. And this can be done for uh, iOS and iPad iOS as well. So once you uh, select that, I'll just go back. And under settings is where the magic is going to happen. So basically for Outlook, uh, Intune has made available uh, Outlook configuration settings manual. So which comes with a GUI and then you can basically select the options on how uh, Outlook is going to look like once uh, the user launches the Outlook app. So this is more, more of a configuration part rather than protecting your data part. I'll be discussing more about how to protect your data under app protection. So in this, the basic settings you're going to be looking for is the focused inbox. So by default, it's set to as non, uh, not configured. And it will basically means that it's set to as yes. And once the user logs in, they'll see the focused inbox and the other inbox. And then there are a couple of other settings, like if you want to set up the biometrics to access the app. And let's say if you set it to as yes, you always uh, can give the option to the end user whether they can change this setting or not. Uh, other cool settings that you can do is you can block the external images. And then again, there's an option to allow the users to change it or not. And this is what I was talking about, the default app signatures. So by default, it's set to as not configured. But let's say your organization is using Exclaimer Cloud uh, signature management system or any other signature management systems, then it would be recommended to set it to as no. So what that would mean is once they sign into their Outlook app and click new email, you will get your signatures from third party uh, uh, signature management systems rather than uh, get Outlook for Android and with the link. And then um, you can always configure the calendar notifications in there. Uh, that would mean that would you allow uh, uh, the calendar notifications to be there on their BYOD devices or not? And also you can set the settings for the variables. That means if they are using Fitbits or uh, Apple Watch or uh, Galaxy Watches, would, would you want the end users to have notifications on, on the uh, variables? And again, this is more like an organizational decision on how much control they want on their end. It's more about keeping a balance between the end users and um, the organization itself. I think uh, in addition to that, Varun, like I think it's just showing the the diverse policies that you can now you know apply. You know, a year ago, mm -hmm. I, I'd be surprised if it was you know um, you know more than half the amount that's there now, right? So. Yeah. It's yeah, the, the range of policies and and configurable um, things are just huge compared comparatively. So yeah, it's a, it's pretty awesome to see. Like because if you would have come in this portal a year ago, half of these settings would ha have not been there. Mm. So Intune is always like incrementally uh, improving this uh, policy environment for Outlook. Totally. So once that is done, uh, you can hit and save just review what have you configured in there and make sure it's all good. And the last part is obviously assigning it to the end users. So you just go in assignments and select the group that you want to assign it to and then hit save and then it will start pushing it out. So as per Microsoft, if you are just using the only app configuration policy, the default re refresh rate for any of the changes made for the policy is 720 minutes. But if you are using app uh, configuration policy in conjunction with app protection policy, then the refresh time is 30 minutes. This is something that has been set by Microsoft. So you don't have any other control over that. So just to keep in mind while you are testing something out. <laughs>